to Coach's Corner with Paul Ibarra, a place for real talk, nuggets, and motivation to get you rocking. If you like his content, drop him a review and send him an email with any questions at recoverycoach at setfreelife.net. Now, here's your host, Paul Ibarra. What's going on, everybody? It's Pastor Paul once again, your life recovery coach, and welcome to another Coach's Corner broadcast. I want to start this this week, all right, off of a message that one of my spiritual sons brought to uh, Set Free Life Church yesterday. I was um, blessed to be able to hear him preach and talk about the art of forgiveness. And I think that that's an area of our life, including my own, that is a place where it's a struggle sometimes to really, truly forgive others. But what happens in those moments when we don't understand or we don't give ourselves the permission to forgive ourselves from the things that we've done in people's lives. Let's face it. I think every one of us falls short of God's glory. That's what the apostle Paul says in the word. Everyone falls short of the glory of God, right? And so we get into these moments and these places in our spirit, in our, in our life that we forget that God's grace covers us. And the one thing that stood out to me as I was listening to my, to my son preach was this. It's easy to forgive someone. It's easy to extend grace to somebody that shows a little bit of remorse for what they've done. But how much easier is it or how much harder is it to, ex- to extend grace to those that never show any remorse and we still have to forgive. That's a tough thing. I know for my life, it was a tough thing to forgive my, to forgive my stepfather. It was a, it was a tough thing to forgive those who came against me. And it's a tough thing for me as a man of God, as a pastor, as a friend, as a man, as a father, as a coach, as all these um, different hats that I wear in life. It's not an easy thing for me to forgive somebody for something that they did to somebody that I love because of the unremorse that this person has, that was God really speaking to my life and to my heart. And so how do we overcome these things? How do we get past our past? How do we get to the place where we are able to forgive others, especially those that show no remorse. I mean, let's park it there for a minute. How many of you out there have dealt with this situation that you want to forgive somebody, but they don't even show the remorse. They don't even show the little bit of compassion that you wish that they would show in order for you to be able to feel better about forgiving. Let's be honest. Forgiveness is a process. Forgiveness is a process that will take you around the mountain every single year, every single season, until you finally get to the place where you have got to understand that you and I are not God. So what does the Bible say? If you do not forgive your brother, God cannot forgive you. The Bible doesn't say, I need you to forgive only if they're remorseful. I need you to forgive if they do this. I need you to forgive if they do that. It just says to forgive. And that's one of the hardest things for us to do. Now, once you forgive this person, which is a process, it's an everyday realization that we all need a savior. Once you forgive a person does not mean that you have to constantly let them back into your life. You know, there's fences in our yards for a reason. There's fences that'll keep burglars out. There's fences that'll keep people even just knowing that there's a fence there. They know that they're not supposed to enter. Now, do people still enter in and and break in? Yes. Do people still hop fences? Yes. However, once they're in your domain, in your property, now you have the right to say, look, you were not accessed the permission to be here. I did not give you access to do what you're doing. 
I am not giving you that permission. So that's where we have to come to understand that just because we've forgiven somebody doesn't mean that we go and sit on their lap again. It doesn't mean that we go and hang out with them. What that really truly means is that you're putting boundaries now to say, I'm not going to allow you to come and hurt me anymore. And so I just want to thank Jeremy Moore for bringing that message today at Set Free Life Church because he had another message that he was going to bring. I, I, I believe it was called um, The Gift of Struggle. But he said when he woke up this morning, the whole God shifted his whole perspective on what to bring. And it was all the laws of forgiveness. And it was powerful because it spoke to me. And so I am here today to ask you this one question. Who is in your life that you need to forgive? Who is in your life that you need to forgive that was not remorseful? Or maybe it's you that need to forgive you. If you're going through that struggle or if you're going through that season, it's as easy as saying, God, forgive me for not forgiving myself. Forgive me for holding back the blessings in my life because I've covered myself with this view of who I am and who I think I am and not looking at the identity that you have created for me to be. This is where forgiveness is totally, totally up to you. And so my question today is this, how much longer will you go in unforgiveness? How much longer? How much more exhausted would you like to be? How much more energy do you want depleted from you? How much more pain do you want to harbor? How much more of these things in life are you willing to embrace because you feel that that's what you deserve? I'm here to tell you today. You don't deserve to continue to kill yourself. You don't deserve to continue to hold on to something that's not even yours. They did it to you and it's time for you to release because shame on you also for holding on to someone's pain and someone else's things that they did to you and keeping them in prison. So once again, this is Pastor Paul, your set free life coach. Reach out to me for a complimentary session of my program. You can go to bit.ly forward slash set free comp and I'll see you on the next Coach's Corner broadcast. God bless.